Hi guys, my name is Megan and today I've got a desk tour and a journaling flip through for you. All right, so today we're gonna to be doing a desk tour. Um, so the desk that I used for all my journaling and you know, my filming setup for that. And we're also gonna do a little journal flip through so you guys can see some of my favorite spreads that you maybe didn't get a good look at through my journaling videos. So uh, let's just go ahead and dive in. All right, so hi guys. Um, welcome to the desk tour portion of this video. So here is my desk setup. I know, it looks a little janky. So these are my regular filming lights that I have. I just move them around the room as I need them. And for anybody wondering, this and this are both from Ikea. I don't remember what the thing is called, but I do remember getting them at Ikea. As well as this desktop. It was like a build your own desk kit thing. And this base actually works perfectly for me, so... All right, so you guys are gonna get to see stuff that you don't normally get to see. Also, this is a gooseneck, like iPhone holder, but this is actually what I've been using to film. Like I started using this at the end of my April journal with me video, so you guys could probably see a difference between my old setup and using this. Uh, this is new, so I'm getting used to the setup for this. Um, normally, the washi tape container is not usually in here, but I wanted to show you all of our cute washi tapes. This is normally over in our craft room, which is a mess. Also, we have more washi tape than we can handle. Okay, so this is a corner of the desk that you guys don't usually get to see. Uh, this is my pile of just stuff. So I have a whole bunch of old owl crate cards, a box, and like a whole bunch of colored paper, um, some stickers, like these. These came from Daiso. These came from Daiso. So this is also where I keep all of my papers that I use for gluing stuff down or testing out marker colors. Um, I usually keep it over here because it's out of the way and it doesn't get gunk on everything that way. Um, I also have stuff stuffed in the top bins of these uh, flowers on both sides, actually. So I do keep this over here. I have this over here, which has a whole bunch of extra little notes and stuff. So next up are my little drawers. So up here I have my Flareon and my Jolteon, as well as, uh, so I have my pins, or markers, pens, pencils, um, regular pens, a notebook, uh, some extra stickers, and my glass of water for today. It's, um, and then we have my drawers, which, I don't know if you guys want to see what's in them, but we're going to do just a quick little little tour. So this one I keep my like months and wrap up pieces in there. This one has some stamps and an ink pad. This one has some like travel and ticket stubs. Um, this one has some like black and white illustration kind of stickers. Uh, this one has some old tarot cards from a bookish box that they didn't ever finish. This one is the deck of purple playing cards that I've been using. Um, this one I think is uh, Sarah J Mass inspired. This one's got like illustration type stickers. This one is probably my favorite drawer because this one has all my floral stickers and like floral pieces. Uh, this is another favorite drawer. This is like the moon slash witchy drawer. It's got like a whole bunch of moon phases and like alchemical kind of stickers. Uh, a whole bunch of witchy stickers. Um, this is just a bin full of little loose ends and odds, like odds and end pieces, things that I've cut out or have saved from background pieces. This one has some 
These were from a card game from Owl Crate. Um, so I'm hoping to use them as like backgrounds or something. This is where I keep my, my glue sticks, um, some paper clips, and some extra twine. And then here is my little scrap drawer. Here's my journal that you guys normally see. And as you guys can see, it's getting um, to be quite alligator mouthed already, which I'm really excited about. But I keep it in the bag with a whole bunch of other stuff you guys probably see normally in videos. So I keep these with my journal. These are my little sticker sheets that I really come to love. Um, let's see, two, four, six, so they're all here. And right now I currently have a little, a little stash of um, washi tape because I was working on this at home and you guys didn't see those. You guys will probably see those pages in my actual journal tour, which we will uh, get to right about now. All right guys, welcome to the uh, journal flip through or tour kind of portion of this video. So uh, let's just dive in. All right, so here's my January TBR spread. There are definitely some things I wish I had done differently, but let's go ahead and just keep flipping. So I'm still really proud of this Murderbot Diary spread. It's probably one of my favorites still. Maybe not quite my top favorite, but definitely a favorite. Of course, Haikyuu, always a favorite. So I really, really love my February spread. This is probably one of my top favorites so far of the year. It's just so pretty and so pink. And if you know me, pink has not been my favorite color, but this is just so pretty and I just love it. And then of course I really like these spreads. They're really cute and they just flow so well together. <laughs> And I really like that I read four of the same books in a series, so. Okay, so these are two of my other favorite spreads so far. I really love this one for Therapy Game and for a Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow. They just fit so well. Oh yes, I really like this spread too. It's maybe not quite a favorite favorite, but it's definitely like up there. And then February's wrap up. Um, so if you guys didn't know, this little section is kind of like a little mini book haul for every month. So I'm trying to keep myself accountable for the books that I actually acquire through the year and hopefully try to read. Okay, so now we're on to March, which the spread is just gorgeous. <laughs> Okay, so the Silver in the Wood spread, this is one of my favorites. I just I love how everything looks together, and I also really enjoyed putting uh, this for Trailer Park Trickster together, and I actually really like them together. So I started this book in March, so this is Firebreak. Um, I started it in March. And I put it on pause for a while because it got too intense, but I finished it in April. So you guys did see this one uh, in my April journaling video. Um, but I really love this fan art because I really didn't have a good mental image of what these characters look like. And I really, really like these. Also, my March wrap up page, which I really like. It's kind of sweet and florally and springy. Okay, then into April. So April is definitely my favorite reading month so far, but it also, I just love this purple spread so much. And as you guys will probably see, there's a lot of purple <laughs> throughout this spread, or throughout this month. Um, I really enjoyed this one and I loved this picture that I found. Ooh, okay, so then we have my Last Sun reread. Oh, 
I love how this one turned out. And yeah. So this spread, this double spread was not done intentionally with the purple. Um, but I actually really like it because I got to reuse the same paper and just all of the stickers and it just really fits so well and it's so pretty. Okay, and so these are some of my other favorite spreads. I really love my reread of The Hangman and I just, I love this color scheme and I really, really enjoyed this uh, one for Fangs, which was also a reread. I just, I love, 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 love this color. And I love when I get to be able to find artwork to put in for my manga pages or, you know, graphic novels or comic pages. It's just so cute. Okay, this one I know I don't have footage of. So this is the last book I read in April. Uh, this book was amazing and I really like how this turned out. And then of course we have my April wrap up spread. Um, I think it turned out really good. I wish this had been over just a little farther this way, but it looks really good. Okay, and then we are on to my May spread. You guys are actually getting a little sneak peek. I'll show you how I did this in my uh, May journaling video, um, which will be released at the end of the month. So keep an eye on that. And that's as far as I've gotten. And then these are all little things for another time. Alrighty guys, thank you for joining me for my little desk tour and for my journaling flip through. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget the like button. If you haven't already but would like to, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to follow me on social media for more bookish stuff, check out the links down below. Alrighty, bye guys.